Good evening. Are y'all ready for Earl versus the Mutants? This is a game that's only developed by three people, which I find extremely impressive. The idea behind... The idea of three people working on a game that I get to play, to me, is still a little bit mind-boggling. Not to mention the litany of solo developers that are out there. Y'all are some real talented and dedicated people. And you make some fun games. Games that don't necessarily rely on having a super-powered PC to play. So we're going to start in a few minutes. And I've already put a little bit of time into this game. Uh, what does Steam say I played? 9.2 hours, really? Oh boy. I may have accident. I think one time I left the game running because I had to go do something. So that number might be a little bit skewed. But yeah, I have put some time into it. I'm not going to lie. It's, it's fun. It's kind of weird. At first, actually, the game was... I was like, okay, this is this is fine. It's it's okay, but it it's one of those insidious types of games that slowly grows on you, and you start to appreciate it more, and you start to enjoy it more. I love games like that, actually. So. Just one housekeeping item. I've uh, blown away my Twitch streaming schedule. I'm going to be uh, revamping it over the next couple of weeks or so just to figure out what slots I can rely on, really. Uh, I was streaming from uh, Monday to Thursday, 11 p.m. to midnight Eastern Standard Time, which wasn't really working for me thought I'd try this a little bit earlier so I can I don't have to <laughs> I don't have to whisper because there are other people in my house that I do have to be considerate of they're about ready to start about two minutes away so I have some knowledge of this game could probably answer some questions that you might have if you do have any feel free to just ask them in chat I'll be happy to answer them to the best of my abilities one thing that threw me off about this game was the music because I'm listening to this and I'm like okay I kind of like this you know a little uh, country-ish some some minor chords sure um, but you get to playing the game and, and the music's a, a bit in, in a bit of different places not sorry let me rephrase that not in a different place it's just different genres of music um, you'll, you'll see soon enough so 7.59, we're going to get going. Let's start. So, yeah, okay, defeat seven times, four times. I tried a insane difficulty a couple of times, and we'll probably go through a playthrough of insane, because I haven't been able to make it terribly far. But starting from normal, and you know what? Oh. Hello. Sims11TZDG, you're a developer on the game. Oh, hey, what's going on? You're one of the three. Welcome. Well, this is exciting. So, uh, insane difficulty is really insane. <laughs> it's kicking my butt, man. What would I change to improve it? Uh, the game as a whole? It's not really much I would I would improve. I think you guys are on the right track. Um, one thing that I one thing that I would change, and it's not really so much a change, just the option to to change it. In the middle of gameplay, 
When I get an option for an upgrade, I don't necessarily want to interrupt the gameplay at that time. I'd like the option to just choose my upgrades when I want. Just kind of keep them in the hopper when I'm ready to use it, when there's like a little bit of downtime in the game, which granted isn't. Yeah. It's just the option I'd like to have. That's all. Once you get used to it, you get used to it. Um, no, 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 not so much in between runs. Like, I'm talking in the game. I'll show you what I mean. I'll just start a normal gameplay. Uh, who do we want? Overlander or truck? So, Overlander. Um, like a button or a pause. Pause could work. Or a button on the screen, like you, if I just press a key and I get my upgrade menu when I'm ready for it. It's, I mean, you guys give like a, a one or two second buffer after you choose the upgrade to figure out where you are, which is great. I like that. And I think it's just a matter of preference. Some people wouldn't mind having the upgrades right away and, uh, or they would just forget about it. Um, but some people like me just want to have that. We're, we're control freaks and we just want to have that control, you know? <laughs> so let's go with Overlander upgrades. How would you choose one? Uh, probably. I probably try to find, I don't know. It's a good question. How would I choose when? Like if I'm in the middle of mowing down a bunch of mutants, I don't want the upgrade uh, option right then. Maybe afterwards, maybe when I've, I've got like a split second, like, okay, I got to get that upgrade now. I'm ready for it. That's it. Um, but I find that at times it interrupts me right when I'm in the middle of action. Does that answer your question? Cool. Can I ask you a question in turn then? It's not a gotcha question. It's a, it's a, it's a fair question, I think. What would you say... Oh, thanks. What would you say you are most proud of? This is your first game, right? I mean, I suppose there's that. But in this game, what do you think you're, you're most proud of? No wrong answer here. This music. At first it threw me off when I was listening to this music. I thought, this is too happy. And then I hear, there it is. The electric guitar comes in. I'm like, oh, okay, there it is. Now it, now thematically it fits. You wanted to make a video game company when you were a kid. I bet a lot of kids have that dream. So releasing a game at all is a dream. Well, you know what, man? I, I really, I got to say, I'm... Like I said, I've got about uh, just under 10 hours of this, and I'm enjoying the hell out of it. It's fun. It's one of those games that I, I, I saw the, I saw on Twitter, the screenshots. I thought, oh, that looks interesting and nuts. But yeah, it's a lot of fun. Personally programmed the UI and the characters speaking and the barrels. The UI is really smooth. Um, no complaints about the UI at all. I've been making notes while I've been playing this. So I'm probably going to make a, a video posted on YouTube. But yeah, it's, it's UI is very smooth, very responsive, no issues with it. Actually, on the whole, and it's going to start sounding like I'm kissing your ass. That's not what I'm doing. I'm just being honest. If there's a problem, I will tell you. Um, I haven't noticed there haven't been any uh, gameplay issues, no crashes, no bugs that I've encountered so far. So this thing, this game is really tight so far. I'm impressed by that. First game. Yeah, this is, 
I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing where you guys go with this. Reach the boss in reverse. Oh, I missed that. Kind of settle. I started to settle into a couple of different strategies here. One of just sort of uh, getting everybody in a cluster. Yeah. See. Oh, no problem. It's it's my pleasure to play it. Um, like I said, this is a lot of fun. You don't have to thank me for this. I'm I'm really enjoying this. Really early on, uh, especially in like easy or sorry, not easy, but normal and hard mode, the upgrades come so quickly. Um, I just like a little bit of time beforehand, but I'm just kind of kicking a dead horse, so don't mind me. I just wanted to show you an example of what I mean. Oh yeah. <laughs> ah, I don't even know if I clicked something. It, it honestly, it doesn't, I don't know the first thing about game development. Um, so I don't know how complicated it is to to add certain features like that. I hope it's not too uh, too difficult for you guys. Then again, with what you guys have made here, I don't think that'll be an issue for you. Uh, I like having a boost tank. One thing I really appreciate, though, is that I get a different flavor every single time, and by that I mean I get different upgrade paths, so I can choose different. Play style every single time because the drops I mean the drops are random right so changing the upgrade frequency and giving the player a decision when the upgrade would be fairly easy cool glad to hear that are you guys uh, planning on doing any updates to the demo maybe showing a little bit more of what's to come or is this largely gonna be it aside from maybe like performance tweaks or whatnot one build a day whoa that's quite a pace you guys have set for yourself but well, that's awesome though steam next fest on the first right on so i always go for the healer drones right off the hop these things are just so bloody helpful well I mean, if, oh, that was a great run. Sorry, I'm getting distracted by my own playing. Can't win without healing. It's it's a lot harder, that's for sure. <laughs> it took me a, a couple of different playthroughs uh, before I found, um, oh, which, which upgrade was it? The uh, Louis upgrade, which, uh, it's a reference to interview with a vampire. Is that right? Yeah, that upgrade's pretty useful, too. Oh, these red guys. Um, you don't really have any loading screens in this game, though, do you? I'm trying to think. I don't think I've seen any. It would be cool to have some more information as to the different types of enemies that you encounter. And they're... Their combat types, like the red explodey guys, the green uh, projectile dudes. I, I don't, I'm just calling them that because I don't know what they're actually called. I'm not assuming gender. Oh. Uh, upgrade magnetic field. This is awesome. But information as to maybe different tactics or what they do would be great. I'm, I'm talking in terms of the different enemies that you see. Uh, but if I can think of anything else, I uh, could use that to build on the story as well. Is there a story? I mean, outside of... Because I, I read pretty much everything I could from the Steam page and um, the website for this. I understand that it's post-apocalypse, and Earl and Edna are basically going, well, Earl's working for Edna to exterminate mutants. But beyond that, I couldn't really find anything else. Oh, 
Oh! Earn his retirement. Okay. So, the idea was for Earl to earn his retirement. Neat! I'm, I have so many questions. Where is he going to retire to in the post apocalypse? <laughs> I'm curious. I genuinely... I, I want to know. Or... Oh, I wonder... And after he earns it, he plays Edna. Oh, that would be fun. So who gives the upgrades to Edna then? here. Three saw drones or one healer drone? Hmm. I'm going to stack the healing. We're kicking around a couple of ideas, but we are thinking Earl retires and coincidentally Dark Humor dies from a heart attack right after. You're going to have to forgive me. Who's Dark Humor? Is that the big bad? Okay, that's what you mean. Sorry, the way that I read that, I thought dark humor was a person. Just dark humor and <laughs> Okay. Okay, I can see that. You know what? This game does seem to have a, a, a sense of humor, so I think that would be kind of fitting. But yet, I hope you didn't spoil too much of it. Um. <laughs> That's fine, I think you're the only one here. <laughs> it's cool to be able to chat with you, though. That This is awesome. I'm chatting with a developer of a game while I play their game. This is a little weird. Streaming is something that's somewhat new to me, so I haven't had, op I haven't had an opportunity to do something like this yet. Again, thanks for joining. This is, this is terrific. Yeah, man. Uh... Charge Nitro Booster. Oh, I hate it when this happens and I can't choose. Ah, let's go with Boost. I saw that you guys in uh, some of your trailers teased like some different cars. I think one of them was a, a sports car. I thought, oh, that'd be cool. Driving like a, a super awesome high end sports car in the post-apocalypse. That'd be a little weird. Hopefully it's not a convertible. That could get a little messy. Oh, castle or lead foot. So one thing that I've found is when you've already picked level one of something, you usually, the upgrades usually will give you the second and third tier. So I'm going to pick lead foot because I like that too. You want to have a forklift where you can control the front and flip people. <laughs> like an exaggerated forklift where you're flipping people like pancakes. That could be fun. Or a steamroller would be interesting too. Hello, Blind Godia. How are you? Steamroller, yeah. Oh man, there's so many different ones you could do. You could do, oh. <laughs> the boss man's here. No, 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 don't apologize. It's been great. It's been great, I've really, I really enjoyed the, uh... oh. Cause he spoiled the ending. He's not bugging me. He's just as enthusiastic about this game as uh, as I've been actually while playing it. <laughs> well, I'm trying to. I I haven't gotten to the point yet where I can even finish one run of insane mode. I think I have to upgrade my vehicles first. 
Oh, speaking of weapons, I'd love to. Oh, great job with the weapons, though. They're 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 great. Uh, I've only so far seen just the the regular gun that you start off with, the Gatling gun and rocket launcher. I, are there any other in the demo that I haven't gotten yet? Oh yeah, insane is super hard, but it's called insane. You know, it's like ordering Inferno style hot wings, and they're they're meh. You don't want that. If something's going to be insane, you want it to be insane. Explosion defense is good, especially against those red guys. Always try to keep an eye out for the red guys. Those ones can ruin your day. Oh, right. I forgot to mention the... Um, the is this a shotgun? The one that I have right now, I guess, right? Okay. I was calling it, yeah, I was calling it the spread fire, which I don't know if any of you guys are, either of you guys are old enough to uh, remember Descent, the old uh, 3D space game. I love that game. Played it a lot in high school. You're four, okay, so you do remember then, because that was around, yeah, Descent was a freaking... Dope game. I loved it. Well, I mean, I'm around the same age as you guys, so we're, we're all old farts, I guess. <laughs> ah, saw drones. Yeah, Descent was awesome, but that's why I keep calling this weapon the Spread Fire Cannon, because that was one of the weapons that you had in the game. Carmageddon. Ah, don't believe so, no. I remember hearing about it. I don't think I ever played it. I've played a, a lot of games throughout the years, and some of them I actually don't remember. And part of the reason was that I didn't always play games for the right reasons. Is Carmageddon... Wait a minute. Correct me if I'm wrong. Carmageddon... Didn't that have... Or am I thinking of another game? Wasn't there one vehicle that was, like, some crazy ice cream truck that was driven by some homicidal clown? Is that the same game I'm thinking of? Ooh, boost flames are fun. Or am I thinking of something else? Oh, Twisted Metal! Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Twisted Metal was fun. Twisted Metal was nuts. So then I haven't played Carmageddon. I'll check it out though. I mean, I still think that there's a place for... I'm, I'm a, what you call a very patient gamer when it comes to most games. I'm trying to change that around and play more indie games because I honestly just... I love everything about them. I find that most people that make indie games do it out of a passion and not because they're trying to earn a buck. I think gaming industry is too much of an industry in a lot of times. And I'm not saying this for everybody, but a lot of times the motivation behind making a game isn't to make something fun that people can enjoy, it's to make money. And that's why indie games have a special place in my heart and I'll do everything I can to promote them. Because I think they deserve a lot more attention than they get. And there's a couple that make their way up to, like, the public consciousness. Uh, mobile games got candlelized by money. Yeah. Yeah. It, especially because with mobile games, they're a lot more accessible to the layman. Or not, well, maybe not layman, but just the average Joe that doesn't consider themselves a gamer. Or, even that I don't think is correct. I'm trying to find the right words to explain this. But a lot more accessible. Everybody's got a phone, and you can play them wherever you are, just so long as you're not driving. Yeah, casual gamer. Okay. That's probably a better way of putting it. I wanted to ask you guys, uh, and I didn't expect to be able to ask you. Today I was going to message you and ask, is there any... Um, any desire to add any sort of multiplayer to this, either one-on-one -on -one or co-op? Because I feel like both could work. It's 
co-op would be would be fantastic. I, I have a friend of mine that I already have in mind that I would play this game co-op with. <laughs> Just because he's got the kind of sense of humor that would be perfect for this game, and I'm probably going to tell him about it afterwards. I told him about Foot Gun uh, last week. I don't know if he's played it yet, but I'm going to tell him about this as well. Mm, a racing indoor game like Simpsons Hit and Run. Believe it or not, Simpsons Hit and Run is a game that I've somehow completely missed. I never played it. Maybe that will be one that I have a stream for at some point in the future, but I'm kind of ashamed that I haven't played it. It's just... It was like 2000. Yeah. I know that there are still people that play it, though. Still people remember it fondly. But it was... It was kind of a challenging game at that point, so wasn't it? Yeah, that's what I've heard. No, 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 God, no, this isn't insane. This is, uh, this is hard mode, I believe. Yeah, I wouldn't have made it this long on uh, <laughs> insane. I would have died. Well, thank you very much. Again, I've, I've put, I've played the crap out of this demo. Actually, it's kind of funny because the first, the first playthroughs that I had, I thought they were different levels. I was expecting them to be different levels. And then it st slowly started to dawn on me that I'm playing the same level over again. And at that point I was like, you know what, I'm okay with this. This is fun and it's different because the upgrades that I get are different and the goals that I get are different. So it, even though it's a demo and there's the one level and the two vehicles, still a lot of different ways to play it. Oh, how did I find out about it? Ah. Uh... I uh, wouldn't tell you exactly where, but I believe... I, I found out about it on Twitter, that I know for sure. Actually, that's where I found out about most of the games I've been playing. In the past couple of weeks or so, I think I've played demos for... Five or six different... Um, five or six different games. I've streamed a couple of them. Okay. Oh, we got boss time. But yeah, I've, I've managed to... I've been lucky to play a few... Oh, we're in the radiated zone. Turn back, turn back. Oh, um, it's... What is my Twitter handle? <laughs> I should probably know this. <laughs> it's, uh, I'll put it in chat. It's, uh, say... No, it's not. That's not right. I don't want to give you the wrong handle. Yeah, because that one was taken. Okay, so what's the... Okay, we're dealing with the boss now. Let's give him some armor piercing. I won't defeat you. Yeah, we'll see about that, buddy. Yeah! That's it. Try to collect as many. Oh. oh wait, this was normal mode. My bad. Okay. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, I put together a couple of uh, just gifts of some of my uh, a couple of different playthroughs I had. I was showing off the number of drones that I had. I think I had like. Um, I think I had something like, what, I had two healer drones, three spike drones, and three laser drones, and I was just, just mowing everything down. That was on hard mode. Try jump over the road goal yet? Uh, no, I haven't. But you can, that's the one thing I like, is I can choose different goals, can't I? I've only completed five. You had five? You can get five? You can get five lasers? The most I've gotten of any type of drone is three. I 
I got this one. Uh, get 80 miles per hour on the road for two and a half seconds. I didn't go back in time, though. I was very, very disappointed that I didn't go back in time. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Kill 10 enemies while jumping. Let's... Wait, how do I do this? View goals, and then where was the option? Ah, all right. So let's say three saw drones and five other drones. It's rare to get all five of them. Same like length. Then let's see. All laser. Huh. Okay. I'm going to keep trying to reset until I get the jump over the road one. Reach the boss without shooting any enemies. How's that even possible? I guess just mow people down. Oh, leaving the road, that one. Some of these I know I'm not even going to try. <laughs> Deal 3,000 damage in five seconds. Oh, I can just pick. Okay. Oh. Thank you for that. I was acting like an idiot. Jump over the road. <laughs> Apple AR headset. So you had to take out a mortgage for that, I'm assuming. Let's see what we can upgrade here. Defense. That's oh, expensive. Okay. So we're going to... I did pick hard mode, right? Oh, don't drop it. No, 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 no. You have to ensure that, baby. I don't think I'm going to... Am I going to be able to do that without getting a bunch of upgrades? Ah, okay. Well, I'll try and focus on that then. <laughs> Let's see... Okay, um, what's the blowback unit? Actually, it's kind of great that this came up. I'm not familiar with this, What? Uh, and I haven't accidentally found a way to make it work. I'll get it, but uh, it's when you level up and it blows enemies back. Oh, okay, well, let's test it out. Oh, okay. Now I see. I wasn't paying attention to that before. Oh. Uh, okay, let's go with a boost, because we're trying to make this jump. We're trying to jump over Springfield Gorge. Ooh, this might be... I have to remember where the hell I am on the map, but... I don't think I'm going to be able to do it yet. <laughs> oh man, right in the middle of the jump. <laughs> man, man, thanks for stopping in and thanks for answering my questions. If I can think of anything else, um, I I'll let you guys know. I appreciate you stopping by. Enjoy your PF Changs. Oh, I didn't make it. Love the swinging ball. Ooh. Now I want to get those five laser drones. Now that I know that's possible. Uh, okay, sticking with the nitro. I will try my best. And if I do, I will cut a clip and I'll post it to Twitter and I'll tag you guys. <laughs> oh, you know what? I just got... Oh, wait. 
I just got a turbo. I have to find the freaking road. Oh, no, I'm not gonna be able to do it. Shoot. Nope, not yet. I need more turbo and more speed. Oh, I w that wasn't close. That was only about like halfway. I'm gonna hover around this spot though. Um, nothing that helps with speed. But if I get this and I get that turbo upgrade, I'm gonna be able to make it. Ah, oh, oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's try it. Nope. Right here, it's where I need to be. Ah! Not enough. Okay, well, we've got the spot. It's my pleasure. And, uh, yeah, uh, if, it, if it helps you guys make a better game, I'll give you all the feedback that you need. Thanks for stopping in, man. I really appreciate it. I don't want anything that's going to slow my speed. Not often that you get to talk to the developer of a game when you're playing the game, and that is cool. That's a first for me. But I have no problem giving feedback. A lot of times if I'm... I have this habit where if I'm watching something or I'm playing something or... I just... I have... ideas. Like, I, I want to suggestions. I want it to be a little bit... Uh, like Sometimes I get an idea of where I think people are trying to go. What they're trying to do. And if I can help them, I will. Boost strength. Ooh. That'll help. Although I've kind of lost where that jump spot was. But I need this drone. Because <laughs> if it's a healing drone... Healing... shoot. Laser. Ah, oh, these explodey dudes. Go away! How do mutants explode anyway? Max boost 10. Ooh. Ooh, decisions. What's going to benefit me more? Going with lead foot? Or boost? Let's go with boost. I have to find the road again. the road. And I got an upgrade. Nothing for speed. Okay. Well, that's a shame. What are we gonna do? Hmm. Well, we still need to do damage. Okay, now I'm starting to see the real benefits of that blowback module. Max boost. Yeah, we're only on the boost, baby. Whoa. Getting closer.
Ooh, drone crate. Stop trying to kill me and just doing my job. What do we got? Pick up range. Freaking magnets. How do they work? I believe this is an insane clown posse reference. I'm not sure. Well, no, I'm about 70% sure. Whoa, that was a lot of barrels. Oh, thank you. Your drones are your best friend for longevity in this game. need more speed, game. Come on. Don't you know what I need? I'm telling you what I need. Okay, well, shotguns. Shotgun's good, too. Trying to find the road again. There it is. Okay. Theory. What if I come into this, just slowly building up my speed? I don't think this is the best spot for it. Trying to find. I promised the developers I would try to jump over the road, and I'm gonna make that the focus of this stream. Maybe. This might help. This is ne this, this is a neat uh, a neat upgrade, especially when you've got this truck, because you just tap the boost, and it gives you a nice little jump of speed. And if you do it multiple times, you can, and if you find a way to stagger it, you can actually go really freaking fast. So this might be what I need. Spot to jump. Whoa. I feel like I missed it. Ooh. What about here? Oh, maybe this can work. How much air can we get? No. That's something that's got. I think I gotta backtrack. Gold shot, chains, bullet defense. Yeah, we used trigger heavy. for the boss. Here it is. Okay. Let's see. Oh. Screwed that one up. Let's try again. Ah. 
I'm not doing this too great. Oh, you're killing me, Ed. The thing is, I can still try and do that goal. I don't have to focus on the boss. I can, I can outrun the boss right now with the boost module. Ooh, lasers. Laser drones are just fun. Give me something for speed? Nope. 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 Uh, trigger happy is good. Okay, getting uh, closer. Yeah! We can did it! Now I gotta take care of this guy. Oh, if he doesn't take care of me first. Oh man. Whoa! Yeah, don't drive into exploding barrels. That's just a good tip for life. There you are. So you've got the same truck as I do. You might be right. I may not be here. Let's buy a little bit of space. Oh no! Oh no! I got dead. Ah oh, man. Well, that's a shame. That's a good run, though. I jumped over the road. That's an evil looking dude, isn't it? Jump 175 feet. That I don't know if I can do. Oh, I probably should have taken the time to do some upgrades. I'm not talking like these types of upgrades, I'm talking about the base upgrades to the, the base stats of your vehicle. Um, Power-ups are fun. And they're great. And I like healing. And early on, that's like the only way you can until you get healer drones. Or you can get the... If you're lucky, because this actually drops pretty rarely, there's one upgrade that leeches health. Weapon, aerodynamics. You know what? I haven't tapped jump button to boost. I have to check what this, the jump button is. Where's the jump button? Hmm. Okay. I would think it was space. I'll have to check it out afterwards when I'm not sus uh, surrounded by mutants. I am starting to see some real value in the ramming module. Because you can go, you can look at it with this. You need to get away from an enemy, just tap it a couple times. It only uses 25 per, and the boost starts regenerating right away. So you can actually, if you time it well enough, you can go fast for a little while. Gotta get that drone. 
Let's see what we get this time. Healer drones, start with the healer drones. They are the most immediately useful. Ooh, Pyro's fun. I wonder if there's something wrong with me that I want to light enemies on fire. There's one power up. This is the super magnet, which does exactly what you think it does. Any coins or any power ups that are nearby, it'll draw you, uh, draw them to you. Upgrade our healer drone. One of the ways I like to play it is, uh, especially early on, is just drive in a little bit of a circle and start getting enemies in the middle of the circle, and then just, once you've amassed a bunch of them, just run them down. And just herding them, and then thinning the herd. So we've already got fire rounds. Let's add some explosive damage. Oh, I forgot I got the boost module. Oh yeah, get this. More healing and less time between healing. One game where I have, I think, healer drones plus the vampire upgrade. I think I still almost died because that was before I had a better idea of what I was doing. So, I, if it isn't immediately obvious, I highly recommend just getting this game, getting the demo, because it is, it is, I think what I, the way I described it uh, when I was making my notes is crazy bonkers fun. And from what I'm, uh, if you guys missed it, a couple of the developers of the two of the three-man team were on earlier and talking about some things that are going to be added, and they're pretty responsive to suggestions that I had um, and they solicited uh, my opinion which was nice that's the one thing that you don't get with AAA community some or most of the time I guess uh, where was I going with this I don't even remember oh yeah there's there's a bit of a story element beyond uh, just this being post-apocalypse. I get to learn a little bit about Earl's motivation. I don't really like to know a lot about the post uh, this po post-apocalypse, ah, post-apocalyptic world. Because everyone in every game is always a little bit different. First, my, first place my mind goes to is Fallout. Which, speaking of, I haven't heard anything new about that new Fallout show. Does anybody know anything about it? I don't know if I'm going to watch it. Um, I've had a lot of my favorite franchises 
Um, go into directions that I don't want to follow. And I'm afraid that that's going to be one of them. I don't want to find out the hard way. I don't want to waste my time watching something that's not made for... made for fans, necessarily. I mean, I realize by putting it... by making Fallout into a TV show, you have to broaden the appeal, I guess. And I understand it. It's not always easy to do that, to widen your audience while still being true and faithful to your established audience, the people that got you there. I don't envy anybody that task. Because you're always going, it seems like you're always going to have people who are telling you that you're not being faithful to the core, to the, to the lore, whether or not that's true. I wish them luck. I hope it's good. Because uh, I, I think I saw... Who was in it? Walter Goggins? He's one of the actors in it. I always like that guy. Uh, I, I hope... I hope it's good. Because maybe if it's good and maybe if it's faithful, we'll get more Fallout games. Not that I think we're going to be struggling with those. We're going to keep making Fallout games. I saw that there was an Elder Scrolls Castle Builder mobile game coming out. Um, do you guys have any opinions on that? <laughs> I don't think it's for me. Oh, that was a bad idea. Do not run into the red guys. Just try and pick them off as soon as you see them. They will ruin your day. About three minutes left until the boss. Really? kind of hope I get another, a better weapon anyway. better weapon, but it's a supplement. I don't think I can have more than two healer drones. This will enhance our uh, saw drones, so let's get that. Come on. I'm going to point it with a drone. drones I don't usually get because my magnetism <laughs> my raw animal magnetism is high enough let's go with burst drones I don't usually mess around with these what do they do which one is it it's this guy right here oh they just cause explosions Love swinging this thing around. The game has a ball on shame. Hanging from the back of a pickup truck in a post apocalypse. I can't think of one. Doesn't mean there isn't one. It could just be my uh, poor memory. These guys are. Oh, these are like late stage guys. The, they're slightly larger units than they've got. Um, Projectile weapons are a little tough. Uh, let's see. Want speed or do we want fire rate and bullet damage? I'll take that. I don't know if I'm going to get a better weapon. So I may just have to make do with this. Actually, I need to... I am getting my ass handed to me. Let me back off a little bit. 
these guys. Oh no, this is not good. Oh. <sighs> Damn it. Well, the max stutter defense, the explosion defense, more HP. I'm going back to headquarters. I'm going to try one hard playthrough with... Oh, no. Went back too far. No. Nope. Hard. Overlander. <coughs> Is that like a group text? Where they're all just hanging out? I'll be there in ten minutes. So I don't have the ball and chains hanging from the back of this, so my play style is going to be a little bit different. Just going to try to get everybody in a concentrated group. And then run them down. Uh, I like boost. Really good for getting out of a hairy situation quickly. Ooh, this is a good upgrade. There's no downsides to this. More damage, faster fire. Oh. I want a weapon. <laughs> Needed one last game. But them's the brakes. Hmm. Blowback unit. And now that I know what it does, I don't think I want it right now. I just want a weapon. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. That's a lot of you. Out of my way, I'm a motorist. There we go. I haven't really messed around with the sniper drones. Let's let's get them. Yeah, in insane mode, the level one bad guys, which are the black ones with, uh, they basically look like pink heads. Those guys just bounce off of you. They're, they take so much more to kill. I mean, I get it. It's it's higher difficulty. Walberg module. Oh, this is a reference I don't quite get. But you know what? I'm just going to choose the upgrades quickly because I usually only stream for an hour because it's as much time as I can spare. But I want to finish this playthrough. So I'm just going to choose my upgrades really quickly. And then play for another seven minutes. Or so. points where you're surrounded by them and you can't do anything. <laughs> it's actually 
these sniper drones are pretty good. Uh, kind of liking them. I don't think it's my first choice, but again, it all depends on what style you want to play her run through. You don't have to commit to the same type. It's fun to just experiment. How else are you going to find out what you might like? Time between attacks, minus 60%. Yeah, let's do that. I'm, I'm just going to not shoot. I want to see how much damage those sniper drones actually do. So they're constantly firing. Okay. That helps. Ah. It's starting to see more explodey guys. It's usually when I try to take it a little bit easier, because they start to surround you like this. Ah. Oh. Hmm, fortress. So many. <laughs> I think I'm right beside a blowing up dude. I gotta come up with the names for these guys. Oh, Edna heard my prayers. Good weapon drop. Personal favorite. I am very grateful that they didn't add any sort of like uh, overheating mechanic to the weapons. <laughs> there have been some playthroughs I had where I am just keeping my finger down on the mouse the entire time. I know there is controller support for this game. I think specifically it said Xbox controller on the Steam page. I haven't tried it with that yet. I'm mostly a keyboard and mouse type gamer. Unless... Unless a game has to be played. Or it's just too, too onerous or too difficult. Otherwise, um, one of the demos that I've been playing, and I'm probably going to do a live stream of that too maybe next week, is Standalone. Uh, a game where you play as a robotic sheep? I'm honestly not 100% clear on that. But the gameplay is fun. It's just extremely difficult uh, to play with a keyboard and a mouse. I'll have to come back for those. So I had to use a controller, and playing with a controller is a lot, uh, a lot more intuitive, that type of game. But the gameplay is really fun, and there's elements of that game that fascinate the crap out of me. Um, I'm not going to spoil anything. We'll go through it next week. I can get another... I can have four sniper drones. Oh yeah, let's do that. certain goals that require you to kill a number of enemies with the mulcher. Three minutes left until the boss gets here.
just take a few passes to kill him? Or is it just the elevation? I wonder if I need to just find the flat ground. Let's stick down the right way. Nice and flat here. Please be a healing drone. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Healing drone? Okay. It's unupgraded, which means it's going to be kind of poopy. Only gives me like 20. Please upgrade. Ah. Hoping for an upgrade to that healer drone. We can get it up to the point where I think it does 50 per whoa, that's a lot. You guys. I'm trying to ruin my day. I do. I did a thing. Kill 350 enemies without, with, or with any drones. Okay. So in addition to all this chaos and madness, we're going to have a bad guy in a second. A big bad guy. With a truck with a spiky ball on him. There he is. Come on. Oh, damn it. He blew those up. chance. <laughs> oh man. I can't believe it's already been an hour ten. Huh. Wish I had more time. But you know what? That's what happens when you're playing a fun game. Time just sort of flies. Sometimes that's the point. Sometimes you want it to happen. But yeah. So this has been Earl vs. the Mutants, the demo. And go to Steam, download the demo, play it for yourself. And if you want to chat about it, um, hit me up on Twitter. My handle is at Mr. Nosig. And the developers themselves seem pretty receptive to any suggestions that you have, so feel free to let them know. And I'll probably be doing a video on YouTube uh, regarding this game just to talk about it. So you're welcome to check that out as well. But I'd love to hear your opinion on it. And I just love having discussions about fun things. Who doesn't? But until next time, I have been Nasig. This has been fun. And I hope you enjoyed it as well. So long, and see you next time.